My name is Dennis, and this is my story. I am 36 years old, and in the last two years, I've had two kids of my own. One's 19 months old, and another one is a month old. And before that, my wife and I were, had met, and we were, we were dating, got married, and she has two kids of her own. And before she decided, well, before we decided or even started talking about having kids, we were just getting to know each other, fresh into the marriage. And she looks at me one day and she goes, why do you treat my kids so good? And I said, because they need somebody to treat them good. They need to know that there is somebody out there that will love them for who they are. And that's when she decided that she wanted to have kids with me. Come back here. I originally was a little skeptical about being a dad. I was kind of afraid because I was afraid that I was going to be like my dad. He's not exactly a friendly person. So I was afraid that I was going to be unkind and unfriendly to my kids. And then Anita starts talking to me about dad's classes. And I'm like, I don't know what these dad's classes are. I have no concept of how to be a father. And she goes, but you're already being a father to your stepkids. And I'm like, all right, I'll give it a try. Uh, I started doing the dad's classes and at first it was overwhelming how powerful it was going to be for me to not just be a dad but to be able to forgive my dad and build a good relationship with our almighty father and just after the first class closed, it was, I just couldn't wait for the next one because I had learned so much about myself and what I wanted to do. The, the thing that really hit me the most about being a father was the day my son was born. And when I was able to hold him and look at him and, and want the best for him. I, I literally wanted to be as good as I could possibly be for him. And it, it just, it gave me so much hope and so much love that I never thought I had. I wanted to be the best provider. I wanted to be the best protector. I, I, wanted, I wanted to love my stepkids as much as I love him. Several months later, I did an adoption ceremony with my stepdaughter. Nothing's legal. She's she's still, you know, uh, my stepdaughter. I haven't adopted her, but we did a ceremony, and thanks to the dad's classes, I knew exactly what to say. I knew exactly how to feel, and I even took a quote from the very first dad's book from the dad's class and said in our adoption ceremony, because it was just so powerful. It just meant so much. And she's 11 now, and I think that is something that is going to stick with her for a long time. I know that there is nothing that I can do with my life that, you know, in a career aspect or um, something that I've done as some sort of Thing before my family that will ever amount as much as being a father because w what I do with them will ripple through time and I just thank the dad's classes and and babe so much they didn't bring me here they were with me alongside me on the journey and I, I can't thank them enough for really helping put everything in perspective for me. I love you guys so much. <laughs>